Good morning guys, Johnny Lorsha Power Up 365. How are we doing this morning? It is Sunday. It is a great day of the week to reflect. And one thing, one thing we all need to reflect today is Mother's Day. So, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, the grandmothers, the mothers, uh, mother-in-laws. Happy Mother's Day. And um, I want to sh shout out to my mom and wish her happy Mother's Day. Um, you know, the love of a mother is, is, has been unconditionally been unconditional and um, it's it's been I think I'm just sitting here and I'm saying it's Mother's Day and I'm just thinking about my mom and I'm thinking about my wife on what a great mother she is to our son and um, I think if we just sit and just take a minute not about the flowers not about the gifts about the love of a mother you know, I've always said, doesn't matter how a kid screws up, the love of a mother will be unconditional. It's unconditional. At times, the, the, the kids might not understand it, but your mothers are doing the best they can, and they believe that sometimes is hard love, but that love is unconditional. Then my mind went into something else and saying like, so, so how? How big of a game am I playing? How big of a game am I playing? So, you get born and you get this unconditional love. And I'm speaking about love. I'm not speaking about how much money you got on what, what great house you lived in and the cars you lived in. Because all those things, when it's all said and done, will actually mean nothing. It's, it's, it's the love that you will remember. It's the love that you will feel at the end when it's all said and done. And that love is actually the power that you should use. It's the fuel that you should use to play a bigger game. You should play a bigger game in your life. So how big is the game you're playing today? How big is the game that you have been playing this week? It doesn't matter the struggle. Because the struggle is a sign of life. I, I said, uh, I said a few a few days ago. I'm personally going through some struggles um, due to some family members being sick at the moment. My father is not doing so well, and um, has time to reflect. And you start focusing and you start dropping the ball on certain other things because you're asking yourself what's important, what's going to happen. You've got that story going on in your mind. And when, when I did that, when I did that YouTube clip last time, I had so much feedback from other people that either his best friend is going through a tumor or going through cancer, um, a grandmother, some people whose mothers and fathers have passed away. And it shows us that the struggle is going to be there. Life is just designed that way. We come into this world and we live the best we can and we're surrounded by this love. And today we have this love of a mother and we, we don't have an excuse to play a small game. And, and at times when you are lost and at times when you are, life's just difficult. Life's just difficult and you need to push forward. I love Sundays because that's, that's a time to reflect and um, sometimes things aren't going as well as you planned and, uh, and you need to step up. You need to step up. So how do you do that? So today I want to I share with you guys, when you are lost and when you are going through a struggle and when you start questioning on your life and what you've done up until now and is it really working and and when you don't make that call back to the client and when the client start start phoning you about unhappy service and and you're saying in yourself you're saying but I'm, I'm dealing with some shit in my life man thing is life life's going on life's going on and the, the only way I know how to deal with that have your moment have your moment but step up and start serving again. 
step up and start doing. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. It doesn't matter how much you're going to do. Just start doing because momentum is power. Just sit down and write the journal. You haven't done it for a week. You haven't done the, the, the YouTube clip. You haven't, you haven't got back to the client. Pick up the phone and get back to the client. Whatever the circumstances of that client is, you deal with it. But you, you start dealing with just some little things. It's like the Ferris wheel. You start just dealing with one thing and you get a bit of momentum. You start dealing again with something and you get another momentum. You start dealing with something else and you get another momentum. And, and, and eventually your life starts getting momentum again and you start building up. And you, the one thing is you start moving quicker, faster because of your past experiences, because of the pain you've gone through, because of all the, the hardship you've had. It, it's not lost. It's used once you get momentum. But the alternative is to sit back and use the story, use the excuse, no matter if it's true or not. And you start using that story on why you can't move forward. And you start crying. You start feeling sorry for yourself. And you start using that excuse not to do. Not to do that small thing. Not to do that little call. No, the client is going to say that I want to do business with me. Or, or you, start, you start making the excuse for the world on why you can't be successful. You start making that excuse. And you start answering the questions in your mind on behalf of other people. And that holds you back. And I'm here to tell you, no matter what's happened to you, no matter what you're going through, the best way to get going, just do something small today. And ask yourself, is this the best I can do? Is this the best of my life? Is this it? Isn't there a bigger game inside of me? Isn't there a bigger life inside of me? And I guarantee you that answer is always yes. There's always a bigger game inside of you. You know, when the end comes, when the end comes, may the end find you climbing a new mountain, not sitting at the foot of the mountain waiting for the end. May you, keep, may you get up today, push forward one step at a time, one step at a time, I remember when I was climbing Kilimanjaro and I was, so ex I was so exhausted, I was so tired, I couldn't push forward, I was so exhausted and a friend, um, Bruce came up to me and he said to me, listen Johnny, let me teach you about baby steps, let me teach you about baby steps and the steps that he taught me to do were like, I mean they must have been like five centimeters, okay? And I was taking these small steps and I was finding momentum. And there was a design through those small steps. I don't even remember what he was calling them, but there was a design for those small steps because it didn't make you so tired. There was a strategy behind those small steps. But the one thing I remember, it kept me going, it kept me moving. I didn't give up. I didn't give up as exhausted as it was, as, as difficult as, as it was, as I was at times saying, why did I do this? As difficult as it was, he gave me some advice just to take one small step and another and another. And from that, I got to the top of Kilimanjaro. Because if he didn't show me that, if I wasn't willing to get up and take a small step and another and another and another, I would not have made it to the top. And sometimes I think our lives are in the same position. And we want to give up and we don't know the future. And we don't know. So the question is, can you take a small step today? Is it possible to take a small step today? And if it is, that's okay. Take it. And then take another. And take another. And take another. Because in that momentum, you will discover more greatness. In that momentum, you'll discover more opportunity. In that momentum, you will get closer to the top. In that momentum, the universe will bless you because you are pushing forward despite your circumstances. But if you sit at the bottom of the hill, if you sit at the bottom of the mountain, and, you're, and you use your story, your excuse on why you can't take the next step, no one is coming to help you. No one. You've got to get up today and you've got to go out there and help yourself. So guys, go out there, take the next step. Know that you are loved because somewhere, somewhere in your, in your life, there was a mother that gave birth to you today and 
there was love in your life and use that love and know that you are loved and that you are meant to play a bigger game so thank you guys this is johnny liardis your success strategist and i will see you guys at the top cheers and to all the mothers happy mother's day today bye bye